Kembo, Kembo, Natatan Zambi Yamazulu. Yes, thank you, Motando, Yisaya Congo, for your sacrifice, for making it, for making us uh, aware and available to receive um, the gifts from Nzambi, from uh, the Father, from Abba. Thank you, Matundo, Matundo, thank you. Um, CME, you know, greetings to uh, my scattered Bantus, my scattered Hebrews. Um, and CME to, uh, you know, CME to a uh, special shout out to my boy Jonathan. Uh, Silombo, Yahunatan. Um, and... Uh, yeah, um, so I, I want to keep this video short. Um, this is almost like a continuation of what I said in the last video about uh, what's happening uh, in America and the second part of that. So um, this is another dream. Uh, and this, this dream has also been confirmed by a lot of dreams that I've heard. Um, that people have had, my wife had a crazy, crazy, um, prophetic dream the other night, um, after I told her, you can have dreams, you can have good dreams, you can control whether you have good dreams or bad dreams by, uh, clearing your mind out, so, you know, not watching trash TV shows, making sure you're, you're, you're prayed up before you go to sleep, um, and all that stuff, so, when you clear out your mind and your conscience, you, you take all the trash out, uh, then you could be able to receive messages from Tata and Zombie and uh, the spirit, you know. Um, so, uh, you know, that's just a little tip. If you guys uh, want more prophetic dreams or good dreams, if you're having bad dreams, you can control whether you get bad dreams or not simply by... Um, by what I just said so um, so without further ado this dream was very short uh, and I had another dream a couple years ago that was similar so I'll talk about that dream first so now a couple years ago this dream that I had uh, I was um, like with family and friends and standing you know in the middle of a field at a park and at this park uh, you know, it was like a normal big park. Everybody, just a bunch of people out. It was like 4th of July status, the amount of people that was out. And just living, it was a beautiful sunny day and everybody's living their life. All of a sudden, I see airplanes coming across, you know, coming across and a bunch of airplanes. And I saw, you know, these airplanes were, were dropping bombs on the park that I was at. And I was just like seeing all this destruction happening. And mind you, you know, I'm there with my family as well. And um, and so then I woke up from that dream. Uh, after that, my son, who is 11, had a similar dream that he told me. And I didn't even tell him my dream. Um, so that was just a couple years back, maybe, maybe a year, a year and a half ago. Um, now, this dream that I had... Uh, a couple of days ago, on the 20, what's today? Today is the 36, 26. I think it was the uh, 24th when I had this dream. Um, the same, the same night that I had the Trump uh, dream. So it's really short. I was just outside, and while I was outside. Uh, all of a sudden, it was like wartime in America. So in my dream, it was just like automatically I was outside and it was wartime in America. Happened on American soil. So in America, we were getting attacked and it was just chaos everywhere. You know, the sky was dark as smoke and fire. And my and my awareness of the dream, I could just feel... Like there was this chaos all around me. People panicking and all that stuff. But the. K 
key part of this dream, excuse me, the key part of this dream was that I was being protected, I was covered, and uh, it was like I had this like um, invisible shield force field that I couldn't see, but I knew that everything that was happening, it wasn't affecting me, like, and I wasn't just like some spirit observing it was I was actually there in the midst of seeing all this happen but none of it could touch me and then I woke up and right as I was waking up this happened common to me um Malaki uh, Malaki was speaking to me an angel and was telling me that this dream represented the house of Israel the house of Yisolele you know Jacob and uh and so I was just like, man, I almost didn't want to share it because there's a lot of dreams that I don't share, um, you know, because I don't feel released to share them. But I felt released to share this dream. And so I was just going to keep that to myself and just, you know, hold that dream for myself. And uh, and but, you know, the most high is put on my spirit to release it. And so, yeah, so. That dream, it's gonna show. I'm gonna read the scripture, um, but that dream was was representing that us that are here in the diaspora, that are here, especially in America. There's something about America being us being in America that's different than us being in 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 Europe, uh, us being in South America, because we first known in the 14 uh, 1490s. We were taken to South America first, you know, so there's something different about us being over here uh, in this land, this Babylon, um, this new Egypt that uh, is just different. Um, and so when war happens over here, it's going to happen. People have been saying this stuff for years, um, but one thing that people haven't understood is that the timing of what of when it happens and so the timing you only get the timing if you know who the people are so if you don't know the people of Yisolele, israel then you don't know when things are going to happen you're just reading the scriptures um in a book that don't really pertain to you and your and your you know your doctrine of theology so you kind of just leave it alone and i guess we'll see what happens right because we're all just going to get raptured in the sky together um, you know, so it's important to know who the people are and it's especially for the people to know, uh, the house of Jacob, who we are now, I'm going to end it on this scripture, um, that just, uh, you know, that explains the dream that I had and the dreams that we're all having, um, simultaneously and in the season of revelation and, uh, and, and knowledge and understanding. Um, so it's Jeremiah 30, Jeremiah 30 and, uh, seven. So the Mosai says, alas, for that day will be great so that none will be like it. It will be the time of Jacob's unequal trouble. So a trouble that is unmatched by any type of trouble that we've been in. Okay. Um but he he will be saved out of it. So scripture references for that is Revelations chapter seven. Um you know to for for line upon line, precept upon precept, Matthew twenty five when uh Isaiah is, is talking about the signs of the times and all these things. It's always about us. It's always about when you see the status of where we, what we are at, then you can tell the signs and the times and what seasons we're in. And so this is prophetic. This scripture is a prophetic scripture for now and the time, the season to come. So, but he will be saved out of it. He's not just talking about one person. He's talking about that person's lineage. So the tribes came from Jacob. And so when he's saying he will be saved, he's seeing the ones who are represented by the blood of Jacob. 
uh, the seed of Jacob is the best way to say it. For it will come to pass in that day, says Yah of hosts, that I will break the oppressor's yoke from your neck, and I will burst your bonds, and strangers will no more make slaves of the people of Yisolale. But they will serve Yah, their Adonai, or Tatanzambi, and Dawid's descendant, their king, whom I will raise up for them. Therefore, now, this is very important for us. Therefore, do not fear, O my servant Jacob, says Yah, nor be dismayed, O Yisolele. For behold, I will save you from afar, and your seed from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return, have rest and be quiet, and no one shall make him afraid, for I am with you, says Tatanzambi, to save you. Though I make a full end, this is very important, though I make a full end of all nations, though I make a full end of all nations, He's speaking to Israel. This is our hope that he makes a full end of all nations where I have scattered you. Yet I will not make a complete end of who? You. But I will correct you in justice. And I will not let you go altogether unpunished. Now, why would we be punished? Because we... Don't repent and go back to the laws and commandments that the Most High set for us to obey. For us to obey. This is why you don't look to Gentiles and say, well, they're, they don't, they eat pork and they do this and they do that. It wasn't for them. It was for us. So it's for us to obey, you know, um, to honor the, the, the Sabbath, the Sabbath, as some call it, you know. Honor the Sabbath by the phases of the moon, you know, all this is going to be corrected at one point, but we need to understand how to how to worship the most high. So scripture reference that is Jeremiah 30. Um, that's for us. We so the lay. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I bless you all. I bless you all. Um, thank you for all your encouraging comments. Um, thank you for people who are sharing uh, my videos and all that. Um, just thank you, you know. Matando. You know, many, many things. Matando. Uh, so, you know. Yeah, that's it. So, judgment is coming. Don't fear. Yisolele. That's it. Salama.